Tired of playing hand gymnastics to reach the top of your screen? Well, with Quick Cursor, you can simply swipe in from the left or right edge of the screen to launch a cursor, which lets you control the top half of your screen. Makes it easier to launch Instagram stories, pull down your notification shade, or use the app drawer search bar. And that's just one app out of the 10 that I'll be showing off for September's segment of the best Android apps. As usual, I have six useful apps and four addicting games for all of you to try out. And I even dropped eight new stunning wallpapers with pastel colors to spice up your home screen. Honestly, I'm in love with all of these. Only on my Patreon page though through the link in the description. Anyways, jumping right into it, Stereo Launcher is an exciting new launcher for people who like to keep their phones minimal and tidy. For starters, the launcher loads up with a clean home screen carrying just a few widgets like the time, battery level, and a music player whenever you start playing music. Swiping up will then bring in a very snappy and simple two column listing of your apps and a search bar across the bottom. Opening any apps will then appear on the home screen across the bottom acting like a dock. My favorite part though about this launcher is that it carries its own customizable feed panel. Unlike the Google Discover panel, I can follow any of my favorite websites, Twitter accounts, or YouTube channels just by having the links or account names. The developer even promises that you'll improve this panel over time. Finally, when swiping to the right side of the home screen, there's a note taking section just in case you want to jot things down quickly. Very simple, but also a great launcher to stay productive. Oh yeah, and did I mention that it's free as well? I know it might be a little silly, but does it drive anyone else crazy when you have a notification that can't be swiped away or hidden like some system app that is running in the background, or a USB notification for letting you know that your phone is charging? These are especially more persistent on Samsung phones. Well, Tidy Panel Notification Blocker lets me hide away any permanent notification no matter how important it is. Within the app, I just tap on the permanent notification, hide it by choosing body or title, and then it will get hidden. If you want to bring it back, you just find it within the hidden notification section, tap it, and hit yes to unhide it. Just be aware that for some notifications, it could take several hours before it'll reappear even if you restart your device or reconnect it to the USB cable. You can upgrade to a pro version of the app though, which will unhide the notifications much faster. It'll also let you hide an unlimited number of notifications, not just two, and a lot more. Thanks to the developer though, I've just dropped 50 promo codes on my Patreon page for anyone to try the full version of the app for free. If you ever want to remap the hardware buttons on your device to launch other actions, KeyMapper lets you do just that. I can reprogram my volume buttons to do things like launch the digital assistant upon double clicking the volume down key, or expanding the notification shade when tapping the volume up and then the volume down button. Plus the remapping doesn't just stop at the phone's buttons. Most Bluetooth devices connected to your phone, like a keyboard, mouse, etc., can also have its buttons be reprogrammed. And you can all thank Yarrush underscore eight for suggesting this app to me on my subreddit page. If it wasn't for him, I would have never found this app. If you also have an app you think I should check out, share it on my Reddit page, and if I choose it, then I'll be sure to shout out your name in the next Best Apps video. Calum Tile Quick Settings Tile is one of my favorite apps that I've come across recently. As maybe you can guess from the name, Calum Tile adds a quick tile to your notification shade that displays the name, date, and time of your next calendar event. Tapping on the tile also opens a calendar menu that shows more information about the event so you can get all the details about it without having to open your calendar app. Plus, you can tap through all your other events. Now, it does cost a dollar in the Play Store, but you can grab it for free on my Patreon page because I dropped a bunch of promo codes for it on there. And a special thanks to Gustavo AES for sharing this recommendation on my Reddit page. This next app is only for those who have Root or if you own a Pixel device, so if you don't have that, be sure to skip to the next app. Every Google Pixel running Android 11 or higher has a quick tap gesture, which I've always been jealous of. Just by double tapping the back of the phone, I can do certain actions like launching any custom app, taking a screenshot, and a lot more. Well, with TapTap, -tap, I can bring this amazing feature to any device running Android 7 or later. Plus, it does a ton of extra actions. Things like launching the app drawer, no matter what app you're in turning an app into split screen, taking a screenshot. If you have root, you can even open up the device home controls, which I love. And there's so many more actions I can do. I can even do triple taps. 
and even set gestures to run under certain conditions like only when the screen is on and the keyboard isn't being used. An insanely great app. Nowadays, there's a lot more spyware, data trackers, and malicious apps, especially on Android. So how I stay safe is by using an app called Anti-Stalker Mobile Security by Malik, the sponsor of this video. Anti-Stalker lets me scan my entire phone to check if it has any spyware, root, or what type of data trackers each app carries and sends. Then I can see a complete detailed security report showing me each app's permissions and the type of trackers it contains. It actually made my jaw drop seeing how many trackers each of my apps had. Luckily, Anti-Stalker made it really easy to block those unsecured apps from sending data. Anti-Stalker can auto-scan my device once a day or once a week, and it will send me a notification if spyware was detected or if an app has been granted a new privacy critical permission. On top of that, this app contains so many more security features, such as detecting every app that is using my camera, microphone, or sending data in the background, it lets me mute my microphone to stop apps from listening in on my conversations, just to show me relevant ads. And there's even an anti-theft alarm feature that plays a loud sound anytime someone tries to grab my phone or remove it from the charger. Perfect for something like an airport charging station. So as you can tell, Anti-Stalker Mobile Security is a very feature-packed security app, and I definitely recommend you install it to give your phone the best security possible. Just keep in mind that even though it is free to download, you will have to pay for the subscription if you want to unlock all the features. Anyway, switching it over to the games, Typo Man Remastered is a part word game, part choose your own adventure game. In Typo Man Remastered, your character is made out of letters. And as you navigate their dark and gloomy world, you're using letters to create words that come alive and impact your environment. Be careful what you end up spelling though. It could be a good thing that it's alive and helps you in the game, or it can create your next obstacle. The game is free to download from the Play Store, but you can only play the prologue portion before you're prompted to pay $7.50 for the rest of the game. Ouch. Definitely a little steep for this mobile game, but I can see how this will become really addicting for some players. The next game I'm excited to share with you this month is called Off-Road Unchained, and it's been developed by Red Bull. I can't confirm whether or not playing this game will give you wings, but it's definitely a ton of fun to play. Off-Road Unchained is a real-time multiplayer PvP off-road racing game. You can create race teams with other players worldwide and play as your favorite Red Bull off-road racer with endless options for customizing and upgrading your buggy, car, and truck. The game is well developed with great graphics and straightforward game controls. It's also free to download, but there are a ton of add-ons that will cost money as you play on. Still a great time killer. Guns at Dawn is another PvP game. It's an old-timey gun duel game, but with great graphics and gameplay. Your objective is to shoot the other player before they shoot you down. You'll get several tries, and depending on where you aim, some body parts can count for more points. As you progress, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons and characters, but your opponents will also get to do the same thing, and it will get really intense. Still, navigating the game is pretty easy, and the controls are easy to pick up as well, so anyone can just start playing right away. The only downside is that I can see it being a bit repetitive, but other than that, it's a great time killer. The last game I'm bringing you this month is Super Faust 2, the latest addition to the Faust series. As a simpler two-dimensional game, I really enjoyed this one. You play as a chicken that can fly throughout the course when constantly tapping left or right on the screen. You also need to avoid any dangerous objects coming your way, and you can kill your enemies by just smashing into them. That's how you win the game, by the way. You just have to smash into them and then just make it to the next stage. There are also plenty of stages to get through, so you'll definitely have a long journey. Overall, it's a fun game to play, but it can make you rage quit at times. So there you have it, six apps and four games for you to check out for the month of September. If you download at least one app, please show your support by dropping a thumbs up. If you downloaded two or more, make sure to get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. This series comes around every month and you're not gonna wanna miss the next one. Also, make sure to check out those new walls and promo codes that I dropped on my Patreon page. And thank you for sticking to the end. I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!